Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show y'all how I made this really cute, very simple pastel glitter tumbler. I'm really happy with how it came out and I got a lot of my inspiration from Lovely Made Customs. I will link all of her socials down in the description. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, so I'm starting off with what I believe is a 20 ounce tumbler from Maker Flow Crafts. I got this from a mystery bundle and like nothing was really labeled, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a 20 ounce. And the only thing I'm gonna do today, super, super easy first day, is I'm gonna cover the entire tumbler in my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite white glitter in the world, which is diamonds from the Glitter Grind. This white glitter is amazing. such a beautiful beautiful glitter so like i said super easy first day the only thing i'm going to do is let this sit for a little while probably like 10 minutes let it dry and then i'm going to spray seal it with my rust-oleum matte clear enamel pop it on my turner back here from bama cups add two coats of epoxy and then i'll be back for the fun part okay so now it is time to play with this beautiful glitter again this is the high sparkle pastel bundle one i know i made a video um a couple weeks ago with the second bundle I kind of did it backwards but this is the first one and this bundle is made up of glitters called Harper, Apricot, Eden, Tiger Blossom, Jasmine, and Cactus Flower. This is really really a beautiful bundle and what I'm going to do today is kind of inspire well it's really inspired from a creator called Lovely Made Customs um, I think she has a YouTube channel. I know she is on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure you look her up. It is Lovely Made Customs. This is something that she did um, maybe last year. It's been a while, uh, but I've always thought it was such a beautiful, beautiful design, and I've always just kind of wanted to try it out for myself. So I'm putting some Mod Podge in a little cup here because I don't really have a like a funnel, but I'm going to be using one of these it's just kind of like a little squeeze bottle with a like a little needle that's not really a needle but a little I don't know a little opening on top I'm gonna put a link in the description for them they're from Amazon but I am going to fill it up with Mod Podge and I might have to water the Mod Podge down to make it through I'm not sure I will give it a little test run before I actually start I'm sure I won't actually need all of this Mod Podge um, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. So I am watering the Mod Podge down a little bit. It comes out, but it's, it is really, really difficult to come out. So I'm literally just putting in like a few drops of water here from what's left in the bottom of my little cup. And I'm going to put the lid on, shake it up. This isn't going to affect like how good the Mod Podge works because I didn't put a ton of water in there. It's just going to water it down a little bit to make it thinner to come out a little easier. So that is a lot better. So what I'm going to do is kind of work my way from the middle up and I'm going to take this little bottle of Mod Podge and just kind of go in like scratchy not like super perfect and filled in directions like so and i'm just going to grab a collar and sprinkle it on like so come over here do another one from another direction and like I said, this is not my design. This is inspired by Lovely Made Customs. She is super, super awesome. And I'm going to continue doing this all the way around with all of the different glitter colors until I get all the colors on.
right, so I gave it a few minutes to kind of dry and really adhere to that Mod Podge. I'm going to take a really soft kind of like fanned brush and I'm going to very, very gently go through and swipe away some of the excess glitter that just kind of stuck to the tumbler where there was no Mod Podge. Even very gently going over the Mod Podged areas just to clean it up and make all of those little streaky glittered areas more pronounced. Okay, so that really cleans things up. So now I'm just gonna spray seal the entire tumbler with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel, and then I will pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups, add one, maybe two coats of epoxy, and then we can move on. So this is what we got after some epoxy. I will take it outside in the natural light for you guys to see. It is a little bit hard to see on camera. It is a little bit hard to see on camera, but in person it is truly, truly beautiful. So I will take it outside to give you guys a better look. The more my camera focuses, the more you can kind of see it. And it is so stinking pretty. I love it. And before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, you've got to get up every morning with determination if you're going to go to bed with satisfaction. Stick around a few more seconds. I will show a clip of this outside in the natural lighting to see if maybe you can see um, the colors and everything a little bit more. But I really do hope you guys like this tutorial. It's a very, very fun, very, very easy, very beginner friendly style of tumbler and I love the pastel colors from the glitter grind. I think this would even look good on um, like a black tumbler if you tinted your Mod Podge with a similar color of your glitter. Um, that would be really pretty as well. If y'all have any questions like always please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one.